are four speaking warm-ups activities or games that are gonna make your ESL classes a little bit more fun. I made sure that these four activities are so easy to do because I feel you, dear follow teachers. Being a teacher takes up all of your time, so I'm here to save some of your precious time and at the same time help you have great classes. All of these games were tried and tested in many of my classes and students got really engaged. So let's dive in. The first activity is alternate ending. Pick some famous stories or tales like the story of Cinderella, Snow White or any popular fiction. Write the titles on cards or you can stick to one story for all, up to you, and ask the students to pick one. If you have a small class, then students better work individually, but if not, then divide them into pairs or groups. Then explain to them that they have to come up with an alternate ending to the story. This will require students to review the whole story, in English this time, and use their imagination to come up with a new and different ending to the story. So instead of Cinderella getting married to Prince Charming and living happily ever after, students need to expand their creative skills and imagine the same story, however, with an ending all their own. I remember a student told the class that Cinderella was actually a feminist and refused the prince proposal. You will be amazed by how creative students can get. This is a funny activity and all you gotta do is just write some titles on cards. The second one is commercial time. Pick random stuff from around the classroom or pre-choose them before going into the class. Stuff like pens, staples, purses, mugs, tea bags, lipsticks, <laughs> literally any item will do the trick. Put them in a bag and ask each student to take an item without looking and don't explain anything to them. Let them get curious. Tell the students that you're the owner of a big company that produces this particular product and you need to advertise it. What would you say? How would you describe it? What would you do to convince the consumers to buy it? Let them know about homophones, rhyme, catchy phrases, and slogans. This is a really good life skill activity and students have always enjoyed it. Three, role plays. Role play is a great way to prepare students to use English in real world scenarios. I'm pretty sure you know how this activity works. You give each pair of students a conversation topic and they have to come up with a dialogue. Give them enough time to discuss and prepare. I'm gonna share with you some fun everyday dialogues that I've been using with my students. The first one, the setting is a phone call between two friends and phoning a friend inquiring about a job position. The second one is at a store, a mother and a daughter, and they shopping for a dress for a birthday party. This one is pretty good actually. The third one is more practical, an interviewer with an interviewee and the topic is obviously a job interview. The fourth one is my favorite and I feel shameful to say that but I said it anyway. It's like two neighbors sipping coffee together in the morning and gossiping. The fifth one is so funny. A father and a son or a mother and a daughter, whatever. And like one of the parents teaching math to their child. The sixth one is cheesy. A waiter and a customer and the customer complaining about the food. The seventh one is also a favorite because you get the students to be in your shoes. So it's like basically a teacher and a student and the student complaining about his or her mark. The last one is in a taxi between a driver and a passenger. And and the topic is given directions. The last activity is two words for two minutes. Let me explain. You'll distribute some cards that has two to three words maximum, like these ones. 
ask the students to talk about it for two minutes non-stop and I usually set my timer for them. I think it's challenging in terms of fluency and I love it because it encourages the students to communicate the meaning rather than how many mistakes they make in grammar, pronunciation and vocabulary. I believe fluency is important and, and in this particular activity students are not only practicing fluency but also expressing their own ideas on different topics. If they're lower levels, give them some time to prepare or they can do it at home and present it the next class. But with higher levels, allow a two minute preparation time and they should do it on the same day. That's pretty it, dear teachers. I know you're awesome and you got a bunch of other activities, but I hope I added something fun inspiring and new. Thank you for your time and I'm positive you're just great being a teacher.